What's up, everybody? Another commitment? Is it? Could it be? Could Florida <laughs> State be landing prospects? It's a, Look at them. <laughs> it's a great day. It's a great day. It, uh, you know, they come there a little, little far between, but uh, happy. So the last commitment was Sam, Samuel Singleton Jr., the running back. Uh, but Florida State on Monday picked up Kenton Kirkland, uh, a safety prospect out of Reigns High School, out of the Jacksonville area. Uh, he, he's a safety, listed as a four-star for 24-7 sports, but a three-star on the composite, um, six, one and a half, 187 pounds. Not a bad-looking prospect. Um, I think his junior highlights are, are short. His sophomore highlights are a little bit longer. We're just going to take a look at his junior highlights since they're the most recent. Um, he lines up at corner, but I think he does project as a safety at the next level, and the tape will kind of tell you why. You got any thoughts, Kev? Yeah, I think I think we're seeing a trend here. So if you're not paying attention much to how Florida State's been recruiting under this staff, uh, it's been a lot of you see them you see them have a type, right? So this mm-hmm. guy fits their their type that they're looking for in defensive backs, and that's usually tall, fast, athletic guys that that they feel like they can coach up. Um, and that that kind of makes sense when you're playing a lot of cover four. You're going to get a lot of man either on that on the outside or on this at the safety position. So it makes makes sense to kind of want those rangier guys that uh, can kind of cover cover the deep ball. Right. So um, you guys don't come to us to hear us talk. So <laughs> we're going to instead watch the film and let the film talk. All right. So this is the young man's film. KJ Island season two. I'm anxious to see him as a, what a senior tape looks like if they move him around a little bit. So there he is. He's, the bottom, he's down on the bottom, bottom of the screen there. They circle him in corner. He, the, one of the reasons, main reasons I talk about him probably being a safety is he looks a little looks a little tight in his hips. He pops up right away when he's in his back pedal. Yeah, you see that here. It's just it's a little bit of a lazy back pedal, but you can immediately see the length. So I think mm-hmm. I think that's oh, what you're absolutely. looking for in this kid. Yep. I mean, he's taller than the wide receiver he's going against. And I mean, that's just something you can't teach. Right. Those are some of the God given uh, attributes that this young man has that uh, make him a little special. I, I don't want to say special, but make him a little bit different and make him recruitable at the Florida State level. You see him running with a guy here on the post. Again, a lot of his films at corner. Yeah. It's kind of his arrows are kind of weird, but he's, he's at this yeah. corner position. Yeah. If you watch him in his back pedal again, he kind of pops up a little tight. But that's yeah, okay. Uh, this you know, would be a good I, glimpse of him pressing. Yeah, very physical. <laughs> very, very physical. He, I, I, he kind of reminds me of Jamie Robinson a little bit. A guy that I think you can play in the slot some and let him use that length and physicality to win. But you could also put him back at free safety and expect him to line up uh, against some wide receivers and, and hold his own also. Yes, yeah, nice to see him kind of making tackles. I think that's a good inclusion to his highlight tape because yeah. um, it's clear he's got the length. He's... He's breaking on these slants pretty well. Um, it's questionable whether or not he's he's got the um, kind of the fluidity that you would want right now. Um, so it's a question whether or not that can be taught. But I think he's got the height. He's got the physicality. And, you know, after watching the, the film, I think I agree with you. I think he's a kid that will probably move to safety. You put on 15, 20 pounds on him and um, you let him kind of play out in space and, and be that guy. Yeah, I think he lacks a little bit of long end speed. So, you know, you worry another reason why you worry about him out at corner, but at safety, I think that that plays a little bit better. He looks like a type of young man that does have the speed that he could go hash to hash if need to be, need to, or get out of the middle of the field, you know, in, a, in some sort of cover three or man free and play over the top. Um, I think it's a good, I think it's a good get. They've been looking for guys that I think that can transition, can play a little bit of that corner, but transition back to safety. It seems to be what they want that length, that physicality, um, that ability to kind of do a lot of things in the back end. He fits the mold really well. Um, I think this is a solid get. Seems like they fought off Kentucky for the young man. Uh, So, hey, if Mark Stoops is a fan, I'm a fan. Um, (laughs) He does a pretty good job of evaluating DBs, right? Yeah, he does. So Uh, in the end, not faulting there. No, not at all. In the end, this is a good good secondary prospect that you can plug in. Um, And it just continues to trend of length in the secondary uh, moving forward. 
Yeah, I think uh, I definitely agree with you. I think that um, this is a good take, an exciting take. I think he's got some intangibles that you can't teach. He's a long defensive back. Um, ultimately, that boundary corner, the the strong side linebacker, the, the nickel corner, um, both of those, in a sense, in this defense, you're going to be asked to be a little physical, get, get involved in the box. And I, I think he kind of checks that box. Of course, there's some... Things he needs to work on. His back pedal was a little bit lacking in the yeah. clips that we saw of that. But um, he's got he's got decent bursts. He's got decent length, and I think he's a kid that uh, can can potentially grow into something uh, that uh, a solid contributor on the defense. Yeah, I agree. And the big, you know, one of the nicest things we didn't talk about it a whole lot is his ability to come up and play the run. I think he sets the edge really well. You know. In today's age, you want to be, have guys out there that can come up and set an edge uh, in the in the secondary, or be or be solid force players. Um, he he shows that. So you, know, you think of uh, some plays last year of Jarvis Brownlee coming up and setting the edge. This is this young man seems to do that, or in that Jamie Robinson mold. That's exciting. Just more more building around modern defense uh, with length and physicality and guys that can run and do multiple things. It's a good get for the Knowles. Um, Hopefully we see you again soon for another commitment. Fingers crossed, Blake Nicholson in the future. Yeah, Go so Knowles. AB already AB just put it out there, so you can <laughs> mark it down on AB's crystal ball. Oh. Uh, <laughs> all right, yeah. Thank you guys for joining us. Uh, we will be back soon. <laughs>